Today, the Academy has announced that due to concerns about whether students can support cities, towns, and villages during the overflow, they expect all students to be at a certain level of combat proficiency. To help reach this goal, we will be going to a dangerous location where monsters are known to exist. These sites are called dungeons, and they are referred to as dungeons due to how easy it is for monsters to thrive in said area. How you inform the class? Han somewhat paid attention to what was going on, and mainly enjoyed the attention Anaclis was giving him. Lately, Han had Anaclis accompany him to the class, considering how her tail was able to form into a chair. She also acted more like an older sister, which Han enjoyed. It reminded him of those adult comics where the older sister had a brother complex. Master, would you like to head home? You seem to be a little bored with class today, Anaclis mentioned. Though the current topic is boring, I should at least act like a student. I am sure that this trip will bring some entertainment. And give me an opportunity to interact with the class," Han replied. Now, some of you may remember what happened during our first class trip, and are concerned about something similar happening. Han Yun looked at the class. To help alleviate your fears, we will be having several adventuring groups coming along with us. Though the strength of the students has increased, the concern about deaths occurring was somewhat high. Several students in the academy had been killed by monsters recently. It is good to know that we will have people to protect us during this trip, Han murmured. Anaclis giggled, hearing what Han said. Master, is there any need for them to hire these people when you are in the class? She wrapped him in her arms and squeezed. She always found his sarcasm to be cute. I know that some of you have your own protection. So feel free to bring your own people," Hai Yun added. The class was dismissed, and they were informed to meet at the city's entrance at the end of the day to give them enough time to prepare. The school would supply many of the provisions, so they were told just to bring things they would personally need. As Han was heading out of the class, Hai Yun called out to him, "E, if you would come with me to my office." His classmates looked curious after hearing the teacher ask to see Han, and wondered what they were going to talk about. Han and Anaclis followed Hao Yun as she guided them to her office. The office that she used was somewhat different compared to the other teachers. With her background as an adventurer, she, along with other former adventurer teachers, stayed in a building that had its own training area. This was so that they could keep up their skills. Which was one of the reasons they were hired by the academy. They entered the nondescript building, which was a giant, boxy-looking building. This area is where all the offices for each of the teachers are, and the rear portion is where all the training is done. A fifth of the building is the office area, Ha Yun explained. Going up some stairs to reach the third floor, they went down a hallway and reached her office. The room reminded him of the office his various professors had when he was in college. There weren't as many papers, but there was still a significant number of books. You are probably wondering why I have asked you to come to my office. Hai Yun started. Seeing Han looking at her, she continued. Considering your accomplishments, fighting off the monsters during our first class trip, and going to the ruins. I thought it would be a good idea to touch base with you. Though we will be bringing adventurers with us, there is still a concern about the monsters. I know that you have several servants that are capable, so I want to ask if you could bring as many as you have on this trip. Seeing that she was finished, Han thought about it and said, "I have no issues with doing this." Ha Yun sighed in relief. Hearing that Han would go along with her request, Han listened to some more questions and answered them without giving away unnecessary information. He excused himself and left her office. On his way out, he saw Eric Lightwing, 
heading down the hallway. Eric seeing Han leave Hyun's office looked angered, his face contorting. What do you think you're doing here? Lately, Eric had been sporadically attending lessons, which explained him not knowing about Ha Yoon inviting Han to her office. Just discussing the latest class trip, Han said without much thought. Weaklings like you need to try so hard, compared to the inherent talent that we nobles have. Unlike you trash, I along with the other nobles will be going on a diplomatic mission of great importance. He sneered at Han and Anaclis. We will be journeying to the newly discovered city inside the desert to encourage relations with the local government and our nations. You people will be fumbling around, likely getting eaten. Eric seemed to be intentionally not mentioning his personal encounter with Han, along with how Han had saved many of the nobles from getting eaten. Eric passed them by as he chuckled before entering Ha Yoon's office as if it was his own. Leaving the building, Anaclis asked, Master, why do we not just turn him into paste? With a flick of my tail, I could have him smeared across the street. She sounded annoyed. I get a feeling that things will get interesting with that person, he commented. Should I let Queen know to assign people to watch him? Han shook his head. There are more important things to worry about, and I do not think we need to waste much energy with him. Part of me thinks that this class trip will be enjoyable. Have everyone meet in the throne room. There was a smile on his face, as he had a feeling that things would be getting interesting. 